Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyways, in one of my last videos, somebody suggested to make a video on money making methods at a young age. And what I mean by young age, you can be a kid, you can be a teenager, but some of this stuff also carries on to when you're an adult. And there's people that do some of these things forever and it still generates some income. So I was able to put together a list of five things you can do at a young age to make some money. And the majority of these things don't go in any particular order except the first one, which can help out because it literally costs you zero dollars to start it. And that is to sell valuable items around the house. So let's say you live with your parents or even if you live alone, chances are you have some valuables laying around that you don't use and you're not exactly losing money on it, but you're not making the potential money that you can get from it. And even if you pay something for this and you feel like if you sell it, you're gonna lose a profit, well, think about it this way. Let's say you pay $100 for that item and you sell it for 50, you're at least making $50 back instead of zero. So you're technically losing the whole $100 versus only $50. So my recommendation to you is to get valuables around the house that you can sell on eBay or Amazon or Facebook marketplaces. So for example, I recently moved into a new apartment and I found a lot of stuff I don't need. I actually found a PlayStation 3 that I can sell very cheap with all the games, probably for like 100 bucks. I found a lot of gold-plated jewelry, which I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell some DVDs for barbering classes, which I won't use anymore, and I'm pretty sure somebody else can find value in it, which they'll buy for even a low price. I don't care what price I get for it, as long as I get some liquidity out of it. Well, for example, a big thing that I have right here, this is my big wall of sneakers. You can literally sell sneakers that you don't wear, and that's what I did, I have a bunch that I don't wear, which I'm just gonna post on eBay. It's kinda hard to do it all in one day, but if you have the time to do that and you have the patience, go ahead. But what I've been doing is posting everything that I found while I was moving that I'm not gonna use and know I can sell, I've been posting it daily on eBay. As far as selling on Amazon, I don't know how to sell on there. I don't know if you have to have like an account or something, but you guys can look into that and possibly sell on there. I sold a lot of stuff on OfferUp. I've actually recently sold my old car by putting it in a Facebook listing in South Florida. So the guy came all the way from South Florida and drove to Tallahassee just to buy the car. And that's because I bought a car that actually has value to people, which is a good recommendation to you guys when you guys go to buy cars. But that's completely left for another video. And I think I've bought some stuff recently from people on OfferUp such as furniture and I bought it for really cheap and that's pretty much they're doing the same thing that I'm doing or that what I'm telling you guys to do and it is to liquidate your valuable items. And a quick tip on this is know your market on certain platforms because obviously offer up is like there's gonna be a quick sale. eBay is like gonna take a little longer because you're listing it and you gotta you can do like a bid auction or you can just do like a buy it now. You just gotta know exactly what platform to put certain products on. The second thing you can do to make money at a young age is to work at a mom and pop's business. So obviously this is not recommended for people of older age because the older you get, the less you wanna work for people. But when you're young, such as like a kid, maybe a kid you can't really work legally, but you can work as a teenager, I would recommend it. Or I probably would start as a kid for free, like you don't have to really get paid. I mean, you can just learn some experience out of it. And then when you become a teenager, you can start working for them and you're most likely gonna get paid better than you would at a job like McDonald's, Chipotle, or any other large company because in mom and pop's businesses, it's like a family owned business. You kind of become a part of that family. So they, I don't want to say they feel the necessity to give you more money or to pay you more, but you're more than likely going to get a better pay. And sometimes you do get paid cash. Like that's how I was doing when I was younger. I was getting paid cash every single day I was getting paid out. And then at the end of the year, I had to do my taxes, which I didn't make enough for me to pay taxes. So they just let me keep everything. So let me use me for example. I was working at a batting cage. I was getting paid $10 an hour and I would get paid at the end of every day, which is pretty good at the age of 14, 15, 16, so I don't know how long I worked there, but I worked there for a good amount. I think I started working there when I was 15 and I was getting paid $10 an hour. I don't think anybody else at that age was getting paid that much. The third thing you can do to make some money is to flip items. And if you guys notice a trend in a lot of the things in this world is that most things are flipped. Think about it this way. Let's say you need to go out and buy some pans to cook with, right? Those pans were brought from China and then what Walmart did is they raise the price and then you bought it and they made that profit. So you can do the same exact thing. Flipping items is literally the most simplest concept to sales. Some examples of flipping items is drop shipping, which if you guys don't know, you buy an item for really cheap from China and then you sell it on your website. FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon, which is almost the same concept except you sell it on Amazon and not your own website. And another thing is retail stores, such as Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Dollar Tree, all these places. They get stuff for cheaper, they sell it for higher, so basically they're flipping it. One thing I did when I was young was flip sneakers, but then eventually I moved into streetwear. And you guys can actually watch these videos on my channel. It was a part of the old channel, I would just talk about sneakers, I would flip them, I would buy them for retail, or if not a little bit more expensive, then flip them for a higher profit, such as Supreme, Babe, Nike, Adidas, Off-White, 
anything that has height behind it will sell. And if there's more of demand and less supply, obviously it's gonna sell for more. And don't think you can't do this if you're young or at any age really, and you feel like you don't have connections. You can make those connections, you just gotta go out and get them. I've seen like 10 year old kids trying to sell me Yeezys. I'll go to their booths at like sneaker cons and they have a whole table just like this one, just full of hype sneakers. And their profits are ridiculous, especially if they bought them at retail. The fourth thing you can do to make money is to do side jobs. So the best side jobs to do are the ones that other people aren't willing to do. So the easiest way to come up with something is think about the tours that you do around the house. Think about the things your parents tell you to do. Think about the things your parents don't want to do, such as mow the lawn, such as walk the dogs, such as babysit. <laughs> That's kind of bad to say, but other things are like water the lawn, move stuff around the house. And if you move houses one time or apartments or whatever, you know how difficult it is to move and it's a huge hassle. I recently just did it, I just spoke about it and I honestly regret doing it myself. I love the fact that I saved the cost, but I, there was so much work that I definitely would have hired somebody and paid whatever amount they asked me for because it was so much work. So these are things you guys can do at a young age because you guys have the energy to do these things. Older people don't and the older you get, the lazier you get which means you're willing to pay other people to do things for you. And the best thing about this is that you can turn these services into a business in the long run and it will make you a lot more money the bigger you get. Because let's say right now you start a lawn mowing business. You start cutting everybody on the block. They start telling everybody else about you. Then you're mowing lawns the whole weekend. But then you see you have enough money and then at that point you can pay employees to mow the lawns. Maybe eventually have an app which makes it easier to contact lawn services. There's so many opportunities out here that most people don't know of and I feel like people are afraid to get in certain things because they feel like it's oversaturated but it's really not. That's more of a thing of self-confidence like you have to be confident enough to know that your business is going to do well because if you allow confidence your business is never going to do well. And I know that might be kind of hard for younger people to understand but just have confidence in everything that you do. I promise you things will happen if you have confidence. Last but not least this is probably going to be the best thing you can do for yourself and that is to turn your hobby into an income. So for example I turned sneakers which is my hobby into an income. The way I did that was by making a YouTube channel. So when I was younger I was buying sneakers I was flipping them. I made my profits I wanted to make more and one day I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and start a YouTube channel so what I was doing is I was just showing the sneaker I was showing sneakers on YouTube that most people wouldn't get or there really weren't many videos of it I was fulfilling a need because people just wanted to see the sneaker before they bought it and videos are the best way to see that and then people were like hey put a voice behind it so then I started talking while I was showing the sneaker without editing I was just uploading uncut videos and they were awkward unfortunately they're not on YouTube anymore because that channel got taken down and then from there they're like hey show your face and then I started showing my face and I was still making the uncut videos but I was still reviewing sneakers and then people were suggesting cut out the parts that really have no meaning to the video and that's like the dead parts where I would just sit down and say nothing because I didn't know what to say and then eventually from there my content started getting really good and then I was able to get shout outs on really big YouTube sneaker channels and from there my channel just started taking off and then I had a failure where my channel got taken down from YouTube so which is where I came up with this channel. I had to restart all over. I uploaded whatever videos I had. Hopefully I'll keep getting my following. And I have exceeded the following that I have on the old channel. And then I kind of got bored of sneakers. I still love them, but I just don't like talking about them like that anymore. I like talking more about helping other people financially and with their lifestyle. So which is how I transitioned to making these videos now. And I honestly love doing it. I love helping people and I just want to see people strive. That's just my motivation because I feel like a lot of people lack confidence in what they do. So my goal is really to give people that motivation. And that's how I turn my hobby into an income. I know it's not about sneakers anymore, but I still like doing what I do and I don't feel like this is a job. I take it more as a challenge trying to grow my channel every day and gain more subscribers and gain more viewers and gain more interaction action just to help you guys out there and I recommend any of you guys to do the same thing if you guys love photography go out there take pictures sell yourself because that's the cheapest thing you can do you're free until you put a value to yourself so for example influencers on Instagram once they get big they can start charging people to do ads for them youtubers can do the same thing if you're a streamer you can do the same exact thing if you like gaming go to streaming if you like streaming go to charging people for ads you can make money out of anything you do you just have to be creative with it. That's why the most creative YouTubers are the biggest ones that make the most money out of it. If you love to play guitar, go ahead and play guitar, make your own rock band, start making songs, start putting them out there. Somebody will find you. You just gotta do the right marketing. You gotta know what you're doing as well. Obviously it's not that easy. It's just saying you're gonna do it and it just happens. You gotta put work into the stuff that you're gonna do 
and eventually something will happen out of it. And the best thing to do is start at a young age. I've seen kids that love to play with toys. All they do is play with toys on YouTube, they review them, and these kids are making hundreds of thousands of dollars, I'm sure. Even if it's just thousands of dollars as a kid, that's a ridiculous amount. And when they get older, their following's only gonna get bigger. They're probably gonna change their niche or whatever because they're not gonna be playing with toys the rest of their life. But they love what they do right now and they're getting paid for it. Honestly, anything you guys do, make money out of it even if it's not the most amount of money even even if it's just getting by and you're doing what you love and you're getting everything that you want go ahead and do that the goal at the end of the day is to be happy with your life so don't always think about the money think of it as something that motivates you but don't make that the entire reason that you do something anyways guys that's my five money making methods that you guys can do to generate some income at a young age or literally at any age I know they were very broad. I try to give some examples so you guys can probably take away something from that and start your own little business or start doing your own little thing. And I really hope it helps you guys. If it does, or if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. It would really help me a lot. And also, if you have any questions on anything you have to do, anything regarding this video, any suggestions, because obviously that's how this video came about. Or if you guys have any questions in regard to things you wanna start, go ahead and ask me in the comments down below. I will get back to you. As you guys can see my previous videos, I've been getting back to every single person that comments. So make sure to do that if you have any questions and last but not least don't forget to subscribe and turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos make sure you guys keep grinding i'll see you guys in the next one peace